Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. I'm John with Tackle That, and today we're gonna do a little bench testing. Not by choice, but because some of our uh, items are delayed in transit from Amazon. Doesn't happen very often, but here we are. So, we need to test this stuff anyway, so let's do that right now on Tackle That. We've got our parts laid out. We're gonna be using this battery from our mini bike just for testing today while we wait for the other one to come in in shipment. Uh, we got our throttle with the switch, our controller connected up. It has a main wiring harness and a hall sensor. And then this one was for an alarm system. So I don't think we'll be using that one, uh, but I've already connected up our a lot of our leads we got a connection to our battery, our connections to our motor, and then I've ran this positive lead here, and this is going to go to our switch. Now, after looking online, it looks like yellow is gonna go to the battery, which is gonna be this wire, and then blue is gonna go to turning the controller on, and I believe that's gonna be purple, so we're gonna test that out now. Uh, and then hopefully we can get this motor spinning. All right. All right, so to make this switch connection, we are going to put one of these females on this side and that's gonna go to our power. So let's do that now. Crimp that down. Always tug on your wires, make sure that's a good connection and slide your insulation up on there. Again, this is temporary, but we don't want anything touching when we're, we're making this work. So for this connection, we're going to use the male and the male, and we're going to connect these two connections together. I don't want to cut anything right now because this is kind of just temporary testing, but let's see if it works. All right, again, pull on your connections, make sure they're good. So this connection is going to go in there, and that connection is going to go here and we should be set up. All right, moment of truth. E-lock DC 70 volt. Double check all of our wiring first. Positive, blue, green, yellow, negative, be negative. Connection, connection, hall sensor. These connections here. All right, motor. Let's give it a go. What can we break? Woo! Little pop. Pretty normal when we're powering up this capacitor. But here is the moment of truth. Yeah! That is awesome! All right. What do you guys think? Ho, 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 ho. Oh, it works. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So, let's turn her off. Let's make sure that works. Yep, that works. Okay. Turn her on. Another test. Perfect. All right, our bench test is complete. That was a lot easier than I thought. Now, when it comes to a lot of these other connections, um, I have a wiring diagram, and it looks like we have sport mode, low voltage brake switch, reverse communication cables for like a display, a speedometer cable, um, a high voltage brake 
electric power key lock that's what we use this purple one and that's it so you can get one of these wiring diagrams this was actually on qs-motor.com and it had the Votal EM100 uh, wiring diagram and all the pinouts for the connections on the controller. So useful if you're like me and bought this off of eBay without a wiring diagram. Or you can of course buy a kit from something like Electro and Company and it will be all connected up. It will have its own custom wiring harness that uh, you won't have any of these spare connections and everything will be clearly matched and labeled uh, but you definitely pay a little bit more for that service but it's it is actually worth it that's what uh, my first build was and uh, i love that mini bike but we're going to go a little bit more more power on this next build it's going to be at least double the power of the mini bike in a little bit bigger frame with the gear reduction so we should be able to take this on the trails and definitely more off-road i can't wait the next thing we got is a front headlight you don't want to be stuck out you know after the sun goes down uh, on the trails without a headlight so these little led lights are going to come in handy plus we have plenty of power to draw from to power up accessories like this unlike uh normal dirt bikes so i think we're gonna there's already this bracket where the ignition was so i think we're gonna just mount it on there somehow and uh we will have we will have light so i was thinking about having it pretty high here in the center but that looked kind of goofy this looks pretty cool i think what if we use this connection or this bracket that we already have and uh we can actually put two of these headlights on which i, I think that's what i'm going to do all right you want that stuff pretty tight but you also still want to be able to adjust it depending on your riding situation so not bad at all the wire can route up and go along this guy that's pretty cool looks like it has uh you know one eye <laughs> all right i like that i think i'm gonna order another one these things were i think like 20 bucks and uh that'll look pretty cool and give me tons tons of light tons of light all right guys thanks for joining me on that bench test everything worked out fine and we also added this headlight we're going to do much more as soon as we get those parts from amazon we'll get things bolted up and hopefully have a street test here very soon so thanks for your time make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos and thumbs this video up if you liked it it helps with that youtube algorithm talk to you guys soon